Hey everybody, this is Adam Claremont for BreakingAudio.com and AdamClaremont.com. Today, I want to show you how I like to configure all of my plugins, my most commonly used plugins, to load exactly as I like to use them. And this saves me a bunch of time. So if you like tips like this and videos just like this, take a moment right now, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell while you're at it. So you're notified every single week as we're delivering more and more videos just like this about Pro Tools, engineering tips, Ableton tips, on and on. All right. So for now, let's dive in and I'll show you my Pro Tools screen. All right. So here we are in Pro Tools. And what I want to talk about is what a difference it can make just by setting up your plugins ahead of time and saving a user default to load instead of the factory default. So for example, if I open up this ProQ3, this is the factory default. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never loaded up a plugin and wanted to leave it flat just like this. I'm usually using it in some way. And in the instance of ProQ3, I almost always want a high pass um, I almost always want a couple bands ready to go and usually something in the upper range uh, dynamic because for a vocal, you know, I like to use that as a little bit of de -essing. So what I've done is I've created my own default and it is right here, AC default. And this is how I like my Pro-Q3 to load every single time so it's ready for me. Now it's not going to stay like this, but it works for me really well because I've already got my high pass ready to go. I've got a dynamic band up in here. I've even got a low pass ready to go, although it's off, but sometimes I can turn it on and it's ready to roll. This is just my personal preference. This also works really well for the control surface that I use. So I would much prefer this plugin to open up like this every single time. So the way we do that is to create our preset. We save that. And then under the preset menu, we want to save this as our user default. All right, and then what this does is if we go into our settings preferences, set plugin default to user setting. So now if I were to open up a new version of this, instead of it being that factor default and being totally blank, it will be just as I showed you before. This is how I want it. This is how I want it to work. Um, you know, it helps me. So I've gone ahead and I've done this with a lot, a lot of plugins. You know, my pro, um, my pro compressor, which I use quite often. I'll show you Pro Compressor. Once again, I've got my AC default. This is kind of where I want to begin. And I, I just prefer this. Um, another thing I'll show you is how many of you love, love, love the noise feature on all these Waves plugins? You know, it's normally set it here with the factory default. So you can actually set this here. You can save that setting. And then once again, change it to uh, the user setting rather than the factory setting. So it'll turn, you know, when you uh, open up this plugin, your analog noise will be off. Now you have to do that with every single one of them, but if we do it once, you'll never have to do it again. So, you know, something I just want to show you that really helps me out. I think it could probably help you out if you want to try that with some of your most commonly used plugins. And then the last thing I'll show you as well, if you are someone who uses a surface and likes to map uh, your encoders a certain way, you can save your map as well, you know, your own default map, and that can be loaded up as well. Same thing, set that as the default rather than the factory default, okay? And we can go into that another time if you want. Hit me in the comments below if you're interested in seeing how to custom map your parameters onto a surface, and I'd be happy to show you about that too. So anyway, just real quick video, I want to show you, this is just another workflow tip. I like to, you know, if I can do anything once and have it be repeated every single time for me, I am all in. And this is exactly what this accomplishes for me. So thanks for checking this out. Remember, hit the subscribe button uh, and the notification bell. That means the world to us and really helps these videos get seen by more and more people. Uh, don't forget to check out breakingaudio.com, adamclaremont.com, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.